Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Our next guest says, emotional intelligence is very important in achieving happiness in life, but what exactly is emotional intelligence? Well, let's find out. We welcome back the author of Chaos to Clarity. Marcy Hopkins is with us today. Happy Friday, Marcy. Happy Friday, so great to be back. And we're talking about emotional intelligence. What is that exactly? So, this is the ability to manage and your own emotions in a positive way. Imagine that, right? Being able to communicate with others positively and diffuse situations, empathize with others. And also you have the ability to influence others when you have good emotional intelligence. Is there a way to rate your emotional intelligence or is it more so like, oh, you've got great emotional intelligence or not? You know, I, I think that it's important that we do recognize, I mean, when you say way, it, it, it's like when you have good relationships with people, whether it's in work and in your home life or your personal life, that is when you can say, I've got good emotional intelligence because you're able to empathize, you're able to pause, you're able to uh, have good conversations and not react. So if you can do those things, then you have pretty good emotional intelligence. And you say there's five core components. Let's go through those and actually share why they're so important. That first one is self-awareness. What exactly do you mean by self-awareness? So that's really about knowing your strengths and weaknesses. And again, again about communicating, communicating your feelings effectively and a good way to do this to figure out you know about self-awareness because not all of us are and it can be difficult you can ask those that are closest to you what are your strengths and weaknesses and be open to hear them and don't get defensive and ask several people about that and if there's some obviously if they're saying the same thing something for you to look at and then the next one is self-regulation. So is that kind of a mm -hmm. piece of self-awareness, seeing what those things that you need to work on are and then regulate? Yeah, exactly. So communicating your feelings. So regulating your feelings, controlling your emotions, not reacting. Uh, because so often, how many times have we maybe gotten that email or that text or someone has said something and we react immediately if we get defensive or upset about it? And, and that is something that we want to try not to do. Give it a little time, process it, and, and look to maybe diffuse it and, and react in a positive way. Because if we're reacting negatively, then a lot of times we are then feeling bad about what we've done and we have to do damage control. Your third component is empathy. If you're a person who's not naturally empathetic, what are some tips that you have? Well, think about why maybe the other person is saying what they're saying or uh, relaying their emotions the way that they're, they're sharing them with you or put yourself in someone else's shoes because, you know, we all have different perceptions of, of whatever the situation is most times. So if there's, you know, like that two sides to everything. Mm -hmm. So try to think about what, what are they thinking? What are they saying? Why are they feeling that way? So just try to understand, not everyone is going to feel the same way that you are about a situation and, and try to be understanding and empathize with why they are feeling the way that they are. The next one is social skills. What kind of skills mm -hmm. are, what are you looking at there? So again, it's about communication, being able to communicate well, build relationships with people, because ultimately in life, we want to have strong relationships with people. And if we are not able to communicate well, and put ourselves out there. And I know sometimes this can be really difficult, but you know, be out there, communicate positively, invite people in, and that helps you to build those relationships. And really quickly, just 30 seconds. So emotional okay. intelligence and motivation, 
So where does motivation yeah. come in? So it's your personal drive to uh, approve, improve yourself, achieve things, commit to goals, and be optimistic. And be optimistic. Are you are truly one yeah. of those people, too. Thank you so much, Marcy. I, thank you so much for having me on. She is really fun to follow on social media, you guys, as well. So check out her book right there, Chaos to Clarity. We'll also have a link to Marcy on our website at katu.com. But don't go away. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.